Hi guys, welcome to another video. Long time no see. This video tutorial, I am going to show you how to get rid of the security warning dialer. So let's get started. I recently encountered an interesting problem. I had downloaded some portable software, and whenever I launched the software, a security warning was displayed. Windows has some predefined security zones. When a file is downloaded from the internet, it is marked as hidden. And since the internet is not always trusted, a warning is displayed when the file is executed. So how to remove the flag to avoid the warning? The file properties dialog box does not contain helpful information for accomplishing this task. The way this works is via alternate data streams. If you want to learn more about the topic, this article seems quite nice. There are three tools to view the alternative data streams in files. From Windows 8 on, you can use built-in PowerShell commands to view, sit or search for a DS. As I want to quickly get rid of the alternate data streams, I am going to show you another method. With the method I will show you, you can clean up many files at once by simply dragging and dropping them. So let's start, shall we? Run the Disk Management Console. The idea is to create an additional partition in FAT32. FAT32 does not support alternate data streams. If you move a file to that partition, the file is cleaned by all the hidden rubbish. But don't you worry, I show you all the steps. I use a virtual machine, so nothing can happen to me. First, I'm going to shrink my main partition to gain some space. For this tutorial, 100 megabyte is enough. You can make use bigger, depending on the file size of the file you want to clean. Now, we need to format the space with FAT32. Just follow the steps I am showing you. In my case, the next drive letter is E. Click Next to proceed. Select FAT32 from the drop-down menu. You did it. Open another Windows Explorer window and navigate to the E drive, or whatever your might be. Now drop all the infected file to the fat hard drive to clean them from alternate data streams. The reason why this works is simple. FAT32 does not support this shady technology, hence all alternate streams are removed. Move the files back to the NTFS drive. Now let's run the file again. OK, it worked. No more warnings. If you liked the video, leave a comment below or send me a virtual postcard. So this was the video on how to remove alternative data streams from files via drag and drop. See you in the next one.